Hello, welcome to Greenhouse Live. Apologies about that first go if anyone was watching with no volume. Uh, that was actually my fault, I didn't turn the microphone on. Um, yeah, look, obviously here up here at Magic Round in Brisbane, which I think has been a terrific um, festivity of football really, um, but not, a, not the result we were hoping for today. Uh, 30 to 24 loss to the Roosters. Um, it has to be said that it was a good comeback at the end to make a game of it and get pretty close. Um, but we were pretty sadly beaten when the, the game was on. And um, that's left us um, chasing our tail all the game, I thought. And um, whilst we did have a crack at the end, um, we, we weren't quite good enough. And um, obviously the big story coming out of the game is uh, Geordie's injury. Um, when someone goes down with no one near them, um, that's always a big worry for me. That uh, you, you do you do fear that um, you do fear that that is a um, season-ending injury. Now, now the reports are actually not quite as bad as that. That uh, sounds like it's a posterior cruciate ligament um, rather than anterior cruciate. Now, I'm no physio uh, or doctor, but my understanding is that. The posterior is on the outside of your knee, whereas the anterior is inside. So, a um, bit like fixing a car, I guess. The further into the engine you have to go, the more um, work that has to be done. So, posterior, if it is an op- if it is a uh, operation, is a much quicker operation, a much quicker heal, um, which hopefully we'll get him back in a few weeks. But um, it sounds like the reports are they're just waiting to see what the what the scans say tomorrow. So, look, it could be anything from sort of two to, to six to eight or if it's if it's not the PCO, if it is the ACL, I think that, that'll be the season. So um, that's clearly been disappointing. Um, I'm sure we've got plenty of people commenting. I don't know how many people got, watching, people but, watching, but I haven't seen any, haven't seen any yet. comments yet. Now, um, well, hopefully we're, here, we're coming through. Well, I think we're coming through. Yeah. Um, but if people... If people um, have seen the forums, etc., etc. Um, certainly, there's been plenty of comments about the referee. Um, we don't normally like to talk about the referees too much on on this, but it did certainly seem as though the rubber of the green didn't go our way early on. Um, there seemed to be a constant stream of penalties going their way, not too many to us, um, and that uh, certainly, if if you don't have possession against the the roosters, you are going to struggle and. Um, that's really what happened, I think, is that, is that they just they just blitz us. I have to say, Tedesco was superb again um, against us, as he seems to be every time. I mean, he's, he's very good against most teams, I have to say, but he's a quality player. But it's it's very, very hard to watch him and think um, what might have been when he, of course, did sign for us and, and signed for us before he'd really established himself and um, then, of course, reneged on that state at the Tigers and now at the Roosters. So... Um, Look, that's, that's going to be life. We, we have to live with that, and that's been quite a few years ago now. But, geez, I'd like to have him. Um, the thing today I thought was that we needed to um, to start well, and we, we didn't. We, we were two tries down after about six or seven minutes, and, and that meant we were playing catch-up the whole game. Also, I think the other thing that was, was really costly was that first try after half-time. We'd, at 24 to six at half time, I thought we were we were there or thereabouts, in that we were um, somewhat starting to become competitive. Um, but then, of course, to give that try away right at the start, and that made it 30 to six. And, and uh, Ricky made the point that that was really probably the difference in the game at the end. So I made the comment at half time that if we could keep the opposition to 24, we were probably a fair chance to to come over the top. Um, but that didn't didn't quite happen. Um, I don't know if we've got a lot of comments there. I think there's some people watching. If people got comments, it would be be good. Um, and I'm not too sure this is quite work doing it two hours after the game. But um, we didn't know quite how how this was going to work with Magic Round. We've got to be a little bit careful broadcasting inside the stadium and um, whether people were watching the games and stuff. So maybe, whether maybe we should have come out afterwards, I don't know. And of course, I think there's a couple of Raiders players on the Matthew John show, which is going on behind us at the moment. So. Um, but look, the reality is that we, we 
played against what was a quality, quality side. I would think they're definitely favourites for the Premiership. Obviously reigning Premiers after last year and a very, very strong uh, chance to win it again, I would have thought. Um, and as soon as you give them anything, that's that's going to, um, going to blitz you pretty easily. Now, who knows? Look, I'm sure if we had Roosters fans here, they'd be saying... You know, if if Cordner and Mitchell and um, uh, uh, Tupu hadn't got hurt, um, you know, they would have probably beaten us by 50. And who knows, that might have been the case. Um, I think what what we can get out of this is that there's a little bit of resilience uh, there in the side. And, you know, probably in the past we would have got absolutely smashed. But today we fought hard and and we're still a little bit of a chance for the last couple of minutes to go. that gives us some some hope, I think, and and some some idea that I think that even when we're getting beat, a bit like the Manly game a couple of weeks ago, we're actually still competitive and we're still there. So um, that um, is is pleasing, um, but uh, not a lot there now. Um, now here we go. We've got finally got a comment here. So Gavin's Gavin saying, I thought we'd we'd uh, say that, see something about the the ref. So Sutton Sutton, I think he's referring to. Um, Jerry Sutton, not Ryan Sutton, was a disgrace, and players need to start being penalised for voluntary tackles, as we saw. Well, that might have been the last last second of the game, I think, as you're, you're talking the um, the Roosters player. I think it was Radley sort of just surrendered there. Well, I'm not too sure that made a massive deal of difference, but it was the penalties early on that that really marched them down the field and, and put us in a bad position. Even the, even the first set of the game, we... We looked like we'd done a really great tackle and, and got them in the in goal, forced a, a, a repeat set, and um, Sutton gave it a penalty. Um, said he dragged them in, so that I think set the trend for the game that we weren't ever going to get the rub of the green. Also, I have to say I think playing the Roosters up here on a warm day at two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon on what was a very very fast field. Is probably not the best setup for us. Um, if you compare that to say next week when we play in Canberra, where it'll be probably four or five degrees on a Saturday night, regardless of whether it's rainy or not, it'll be wet because of the dew. Canberra Stadium certainly longer grass, um, very very different sort of style of game to what this was, um, and they love it. The Roosters with with playing on top of the ground. You put Tedesco and Mitchell and Keary, who are so quick, um, they're going to burn you pretty pretty badly. Obviously, um, we went into the game today with um, pretty underdone with it, with a few out. We had Bateman out, we had Leilua out, who sadly looks like it's going to miss the whole season. Uh, and we also had um, Tarpany out. Um, so the injury, the injuries are mounting, and, and that's going to hurt us. And I think Ricky said in the press conference tonight that if we can win a few over this period, I think the next six weeks is going to be a pretty tough period for us. If we could somehow win two or three out of those six, that probably puts us in a reasonable position still. We we obviously had the had all the wins earlier that, that really sets us up. So with a few out, hopefully we can we can keep winning a few, stay around about that mark of the eight and then hopefully have some fresh players coming home towards the end of the season, which as as the back end of the season comes and other players are getting tired. We're not going to have a lot of players in, in origin this year because <laughs> simply because we don't have a lot of Australians in the team at the moment. Um, maybe that means that we can come over the top a bit at the end, if, even if we do drop a few in the middle. Um, so and Mark, go, we oh, might go for a little bit of a walk. We might go for a walk. Okay, all right. We'll, okay, we're going for a walk. Apparently, we're going to walk around and show magic around there now. Mark Gutterson also I saw there is um, talking about the 14-hour trip to Brisbane. Yeah, so. No, they didn't. Um, they didn't drive. They um, flew up to uh, Brisbane. But the story was they went to went to Canberra Airport on Friday morning, uh, and that noise is going to be pretty hard there. Uh, flew to flew um, Canberra Airport Friday morning, or drove to Canberra Airport Friday morning. Sat on the tarmac in Canberra for about two hours whilst the plane was supposedly being fixed. Then got told they'd get flown to Melbourne. They flew to Melbourne, had further delays there, and then had various um, other planes that they needed to catch. And some of them actually didn't get to, to Brisbane till about 8 or 9 o'clock in the, 
in the morning on, uh, sorry, in the evening on Friday. This is hard, Steve, trying to do this walking around. I don't know if this is going to work at all. But anyway, we've come into the, um, we've come into the uh, Magic Garden here with um, Matthew John's show going on. This seems a bit strange that we've got sort of um, the competitor behind us, Steve, that um, it's a bit like uh, doing, a, doing a Woolworths ad in front of Coles, I reckon. Um, but anyway, we, 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 um, we'll see how we go. Um, Gavin's also... See you, a lot huh? you can see me a lot better. Well, there's a good thing. Um, we were supposed to have a whole group doing this tonight, but I think the two hours after the end of the game didn't help here. Um, Gavin Matters is saying, uh, I'm not even mad. We fought back and we showed a lot of ticker. Last year would have got beat by 30. Yeah, no question about that, Gavin. That um, The game was there to, for it to be an absolute whitewash there, not unlike the storm game last night um, so for us to be at 30 to 6 if we, we had have been competing in the last minute um, that was a pretty good thing um, but um, but that, that does make it hard when when um, obviously they had a few out so that that does make a bit of a difference but um, yeah, yeah, it's all good um, we've also got uh, Ben coming in there um, I think probably referring to the refs there that knew what the result would be after the first couple of sets so yeah as we talked about that they got a they got a penalty straight away we didn't um, and that that did set set the trend and it certainly set the trend early on where they where they just blitz us up but look I think we might pretty much end it there Steve I think this is going to be pretty hard to do today I think we've probably worked out that magic round next year we won't do it this way um, he's a Cowboys fan what did you think of magic round um, I think it was pretty good. Now, but... we're both losers today. You don't often come to a game where you've got two losers on one day. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was, I was a bit upset. A bit upset? Yeah. Oh, you guys are pretty good, though. You guys only need to scrape into the eight. You still make the grand yeah. final, don't you? Yeah. Bring JT back. Bring JT <laughs> back, yeah. We'd like to see that, yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe you could have been playing for us. That, that's a sad story we had for many years as well. Good on you. All right, look, I think... Um, this is interesting, and um, people may be giving us more credit than what we deserve by taking photos of us. But um, um, oh, no, look, for those that um, are looking at us, we are Greenhouse Live. We do this after all the Canberra games. Um, doing it today. They're, they're the big budget production over there. Um, look, Rabbitohs next week, obviously going to be a tough turnaround with a few out. Um, and they look pretty impressive today, I have to say. We, you, um, Damien Cook was, was pretty amazing, I thought, this afternoon. Um, you combine that with Cody Walker, who's absolutely cutting it up. It's going to be a, going to be a tough one next week. So we're going to have to bounce back pretty hard. We showed after um, Manly that we bounced back straight away again. So um, six and three, we've won all those ones early on, which is what we wanted. Um, and, but with a few out over the next few weeks, we're going to have to battle through and hopefully get a win next week. Um, I'm actually not going to be able to be there next week. I've got a couple of other things on. So Matt and Steve will take you through next week. But until then, go Raiders.